right? <clears throat> the program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flaw. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas AT23612 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Thomas Was Alone is an indie puzzle platformer game made by Mike Bithell and released in 2012. Originally a Flash game, it focuses on Thomas, a red rectangle who has just achieved sentience and is fascinated by the world around him. Along his travels through various rooms filled with platforming challenges, he meets many friends and works with them to get through more rooms and learn more about this place, as well as the people he's working with. These blocks all have unique names and personalities, which make them all feel like real people, despite their heavily simplified looks. I played this game way too late, and I hate myself. Whoever. Thomas was alone. Oh. Wow, a weird first thought to have. Didn't expect there to be like voice acting. It's pretty cool. Okay. I've heard things about this game. I've seen people play this game, but I've forgotten a lot about it. No. Oh. Okay, it's a space to jump. Thomas decided to start listing his observations. For posterity. Okay. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. <laughs> he was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Well, falling's a pretty good thing to be good at, in all the fairness. Number three. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think it, damn it, think. What Since I already figured out the whole invert? jumping thing a bit Some too to... early. Jump. A big jump. Point. But Thomas noted. Wait, <laughs> I should stop clear. I should wait until they're done talking first. <laughs> Before I clear the level. What? What's it? Edge up. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. Okay. So, yeah, I I don't think I was meant to do that. This all <clears throat> seemed a little dangerous. The world Whoa, okay. was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Paranoia. Alright, so falling blocks. Dick move, Mr. Bissell. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> I have just concussed Comet, to Com Thomas. Game, <laughs> yeah. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? Let me go up the thing. Let me go up the thing! No! Come on, no. Yes! Hell yeah, I did the thing. Woo, woo. All point in. about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Yes, he did. He made another mental yeah. note. Or water. Not good to be avoided. That is a complete lie. Let's -a go over. Whoa. Almost jumped over the portal there. The loneliness oh. was getting to Thomas. No ah, bye -bye. observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. Okay. So the key point of this game is Thomas is alone. And he needs friends or something? I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know yet. Let's see. I don't remember like anything about this game. But it's 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 really good so far. One thing that kind of annoys me is that everything is a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. 
over the minute oh and seconds since his spontaneous generation, you've become a pretty yeah, skilled it. jumper. The text shifts huh? if you... Evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. The text was shifting to align properly and fit on the screen. I cannot double jump. That could have been an issue. No, let me jump. Let me invert it fall. <laughs> no! <laughs> you, you, you damn you mortal enemy. An slightly elevated surface. Come on. That one just freaking launched me. That one just fucking launched me up. Oh. Oh. Let me. Yeah. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that an idiot this would happen. I, I told that idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to respond to an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate huh? deep dislike to the skinny red actor. Well, who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Okay. Uh, um, jeez. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, how? The Chris boy can push Thomas. Ish. That's kind of cool. It looks like we have to do both Chris and Thomas now. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Wait, wait did I actually? Actually, that's the reason. Technically graceful. Uh, with the wrong uh, word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Alright, looks like I have to play as Thomas for this bit. Ah! Goodness, the music is loud. That's a bit of an issue I have since I'm recording, but oh well. Yeah! <laughs> Come on. This is a really... <laughs> This is a really fun, charming little platform. I'm really quite pleased with this. Hi, Chris. I know you hate me or whatever, but... Oh, I can just switch around... switch around you. Hell yeah. Boingy. Boingy. Boom. And you're... Done. Down. Chris seems to be good at falling as well. Yeah. Come on. Woo! This is fun and I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Oh. Little Red seemed fine. Happy to be on his merry little adventure. Alright, seems like Chris can't get up. Taking a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Oh! If you hold jump button. Piggyback his way hang on. Ever so slightly if you jump on. If you make Thomas jump on Chris or the other way around. Then. If you. Uh, if you make Thomas, if you make one of them jump on top of the other, then they just bounce on each other. That's adorable. Alright. Ooh. Okay. I'm guessing Chris is gonna need Thomas's help for these ones. Oh, okay, well, let's see if Chris can do these ones on his own. Oh, that was fuck. Up and go, go. No, no. Go, 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 go. And go, go, go. Hey! In we go again. Ah. Oh, I'm loving this. This is a great little thing. Chris stared at Thomas with pure yep. hatred. <laughs> and, he and then he's happy, happy that he died. What if Thomas? What if Thomas jump? Back on here. Ah. Hey. Uh, 
Can Chris make it? No! Maybe now Chris is supposed to jump onto Thomas's head and leap in the air! Chris. Chris. Chris! Yeah. Chris. Boing. Boom. Boom. Bam. Making it as Chris. And Thomas was supposed to go down here. But he. He died. He can't fit. Okay. So that bit was meant exclusively for Chris. Well, nope. <laughs> I was cautious and it killed me. It put me in the ass. Nope. I don't want to do that. I don't want to die. And Thomas! Nope. Thomas drowned. Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hang on, jump, leap. Yes, respawn point. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, platform! Ha! And hey! I didn't need a jump there. I really didn't. Woo! Level done! Em. Tall boy. his exceptional skills because it was he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things yeah well, I solved the puzzle anyway. so John shall concuss himself until he is victorious that is the way of the John John first Woo! John's used to be playing oh I guess Thomas decided to carry John John go no. John, go. Jo John, John, activate. No. No. Hui. Ah. Yeah. Hang on, no. Chris needs John's assistance. Thomas needs Chris's assistance. Or John. It would appear that he actually needs John. Thomas first. John second. And Chris third. Yeah! Oh my god, this is so fun! I don't want to spoil it for people, though. Alright, looks like they're all gonna have to work together for this one. Using the power of friendship, they will stop the anime villain. Boing! Yes! Jonathan, for the win! Ah. Well, it appears we're gonna have to leave Chris behind. Goodbye! Alright. Come on, John. No, 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 no. Um, yeah! No! Uh, no! No! John's John powers are too weak! This is brilliant, though. I love the fuck. Oh, this is just a charming, fun little time. With a bunch of squares. Oh, I am absolutely loving this, if you couldn't tell. Oh fuck, Chris needs to get up here too. Well, down John goes. And Thomas too. Oh, well, I suppose that works. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not talking at all. It was just because I'm so invested in trying to beat the level. Chris! Yeah! Chris! Woo! Yeah, Chris is winning! Yeah. He's Chris. Wait. Huh. Height. Boom. Thomas! Yeah, Thomas. No, Thomas! No, Thomas, no. No, 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 Thomas. Boldly. Yeah. Go, Thomas, go. Hang on. I believe John is required now. Fuck. <laughs> John. Yeah. <laughs> I love this game so much now. It's amazing. I love it. It's great. John. Yes. And then Thomas can make his way here. John can aim along over here. Chris can leap on John, get to his goal. And John can make it to his goal. Yes! That was actually pretty tough. John! <laughs> Victory is unnecessary for John. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Alright, so John and Chris need to work together to get over this bit. So that Chris gets to it before John. Chris is a bit. Yeah, Chris. Thomas! 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 Alright. I think I'm gonna stop playing though, because I don't want to spoil this. This is. I don't want to spoil this too much. This is. A ridiculously fun game for sheep as well. So, so Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. Claire. She was rubbish and jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. Oh, invisible wall. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death. 